and some 40. Upward I lift my eyes. Welcome to Anthem 40 and my attempt to write a new choir anthem every week for a year. I'm Kevin Mulrine and I hope you'll enjoy listening to my progress throughout the rest of 2024. Please do visit the website anthem52.com, follow along on X or Instagram at realanthem52 and send me a message to show at anthem52.com. This week was Harvest Festival at our sister church, All Saints Luddington. It was great to take quite a large choir from Holy Trinity and we sang The Heavens Are Telling by Haydn from his oratorio, The Creation. There were a couple of trio sections and I drew the short straw in my tenor capacity. It went rather well. In other news, I've made it to Anthem 40, which feels like another milestone. I've also been thinking about the next stages in my process after the completion of Anthem 52. I'm sure that not all the anthems I've written are worthy of compiling into some kind of collection. That isn't to say they haven't been worthwhile to compose. Every time I've completed an anthem, I've learned something, including a lot of what-not-to-do revelations. Following the process of some award programmes, I think I'm going to listen to all the anthems and create a long list of those I deem to be worth revisiting and adding to a collection. Then I'll ask friends, family and you to help me narrow the long list down to a short list. A final pass will result in approximately 10 anthems, I think, that I will refine and polish up for publication. I can already think of five or six I expect to be in this final list, but then again, I'm bound to be surprised. Back to this week's anthem, however. Once again, I chose some words from my current favourite source, Isaac Watts. These ones were fairly visual, and the theme of lifting up one's eyes seemed like an obvious choice for setting as an anthem. Here are the words I chose. Upward I lift mine eyes, from God is all my aid, the God that built the skies and earth and nature made. God is the tower to which I fly, his grace is nigh in every hour. My feet shall never slide and fall in fatal snares, since God, my guard and guide, defends me from my fears. I'll go and come, nor fear to die, till from on high thou call me home. I chopped the verses up extensively this time to create a sensible length of text. So I was left with the whole of the first verse, four lines out of six of the second verse, and the last two lines of the fourth verse. It seemed to work out okay. This is probably the most adventurous anthem so far in terms of its tonality. There's quite a bit of dissonance in it, and the key shifts fairly dramatically from C major-ish to E major-ish. I like the effect of these changes, which do jolt the senses a bit at times. The opening phrase employs a rather obvious but still effective upwards motion across all parts, and ends with a surprising cadence. This is repeated with some differences. The next section has a lot of echoing between parts to make a fairly complex texture. And Earth and Nature Made is one of those unusually dissonant points I referred to a moment ago. I like the overall effect. There are repeats of the opening material and the echoing until the word slide. I decided to give this a chromatic, sliding, elongated feel. Again, it gets quite dissonant, but will certainly startle any slumbering listeners out of their stupor. The ending returns to the opening material once again, and there's a final, much slower passage to conclude the anthem with a crunchy chord. I'm pleased with this anthem because it feels like it doesn't make any concessions to safe music. Not all my anthems are like this, and that's a good thing. But this one makes a good contrast. Anyway, see what you think.
Well, what do you think? Let me know on X or Instagram at realanthem52 as a comment on the show notes or via email show at anthem52.com. I hope you'll join me next week for a new episode and a new anthem. Only 12 to go. But until then, the question remains, will I make it to Anthem 52?